Good morning, everyone. While we're waiting for others to get in and get settled, now's a good time to grab anything you need to get comfortable. Maybe it's a glass of water or a hot cup of tea or coffee. Also, if you have items at home and you'd like to smudge with me, it's a good time to grab those items as we begin to ignite the healing within. I think I need a new matchbox. Mine's getting a little bit funky. <laughs> if you don't have smudge at home, that's okay, relatives. I'm going to send some cleansing, healing, and positive energy your way. It's a new day. This is our opportunity to start again, to start fresh, reflect on how we're feeling, and decide how we want to move forward in our day on our wellness path. Aloha, kakahiaka, hello and good morning. My name is Malia and I'm a community healer at the Her Wellness Institute. We are a nonprofit organization that focuses on the mental health and wellness of our relatives of Turtle Island, as well as other indigenous and underserved communities and also victims of crime. You can join us here every Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. where we will always breathe stretch, explore ways of integrating self-care and wellness into our daily lives, and we will always honor our cultural traditions, our customs, our ancestry, our strength and our resilience. So thank you so much for joining us today, relatives. I'd like to take a moment to recognize our Her Wellness Institute team members who are here with us. We have one of our counseling, um, actually we have our social work intern here with us, John Yang. Good morning, John. How are you doing? We also have Claudia Meyer-Smith, our occupational therapist here as well to serve you relatives. Now, how are you doing today, Claudia? Claudia and John and myself, we're all here with our different gifts and talents and knowledge to surround you in the circle of care and all of us, each other, as we practice community activated medicine. Community activated medicine is a phrase or a, a, that has been coined and developed by our founder, CEO, native Hawaiian woman, and mother of Oneida children. Community activated medicine means that the people are the medicine. And right here, right now in this circle of care, we are able to lean into each other, to provide each other with emotional support, to have a listening ear and to hold space wherever you are on your journey. If today you're doing great, that's awesome. But if you're not doing so good today, we can talk about it too. Our path and journey of wellness, mental health, self-care, it is synchronous with our path and journey of life. And like the ocean tides, it will ebb and it will flow. Like the moon, we will experience periods of light and periods of darkness. And like the mountains, we will have peaks and we will have valleys. But it is our journey. And we can honor wherever we are. So I'd like to start by doing a check-in this morning and see how everyone's doing. How are you doing today? To our relatives out there, I want to thank you for being here, for taking that time out for yourself. And that's why I do a check-in, because once we know where we're at, 
then we can decide personally in our own lives what it is that we need to move forward on our journey. So feel free to comment in the comment section, relatives. You are always wel welcome to comment. And you can always check in with us, whether you're here at the beginning of the videos, or you come halfway through, or even just at the end, you can always check in and let us know how you're doing. And if you're, if you're having trouble identifying exactly what your feelings or emotions are, one of the things we can do is a body scan. We can start here physically. And when we body scan, you can close your eyes if you want to. And we can just kind of scan the body from head to toe, paying attention to where you might be feeling tension, discomfort, it might even manifest as pain. You can check your temples, your jaw, and your... Right here. We can move down to our neck and shoulders. Do you feel tense? Moving down to your tummy. Does it feel good or do you feel a little discomfort there? Your hips. Moving down to your knees. Your shins. Your ankles, the arches of your feet and your toes, your heels. What about your back? Now let's take a moment to scan our heart. Are there feelings or emotions that are heavy there? Or does your heart feel light and free? And let's scan our thoughts. Perhaps you feel clear and focused. Maybe your mind feels foggy or tired. Maybe you were up late last night thinking about things. Now once you know how you feel physically, mentally, emotionally, then if you want to, you can take some time this morning to decide what it is that you're going to do for yourself or for your wellness. Perhaps if you're feeling energized, today might be a day where you might want to go that extra step. And if you're not feeling too good today, Maybe you want to take it easier. Maybe your self-care looks like a little bit more nurturing. Heck, it might even look like a nap in a evening of Netflix. Let's go to the comments and see how our relatives are doing today. Claudia says she's good. Nursing some new thoughts about an email I received yesterday. Synchronous is a good word for how the email arrived. Good energy. Puzzle pieces coming together, Claudia. Judy says, good morning. Judy here. I missed the live the past few days due to appointment, but I did rewatch when I have time later in the day. Feeling better, working on my health. I have to go out again at 8.15, so I'll hang out for a few minutes. But rewatch when I get back. Have a wonderful day. Judy, I'm so glad that you're here. Thank you so much for being with us, to be in the circle of care for our relatives, for each other, and for you. And whenever you have to go, Judy, I'm so glad to know that you remember, and this is a reminder to all of our relatives, if you miss a video and you need some support, watch any of the videos on our Facebook page and, and quite honestly there's so many of them happening all the time it's not just me we also have our community engagement and indigenous affairs director um, she's Lakuta Ray Ojibwe beautiful beautiful spirit loving loving and healing spirit Jamie Kelly cut you can catch her I think on Friday nights um, we also have John and Xavier as well um, Xavier is another one of our community healers and he's also um, a licensed therapist. Um, 
John, if you're able to, in the comment section, just write what time that you guys go on for your videos. Relatives, there's always healing videos going on on our Facebook page, so check it out. We do lives all week long. There's different faces. Everyone brings their own energy and their own healing to the space, so always check it out. And do know that as we are into the new year, there's always services for you here, relatives. Nothing that the Institute ever provides for our relatives ever will cost you a penny. Our founder, Leah, was very specific when she opened the Institute that it should never cost anyone money to heal. So that being said, our programs are amazing. We have another um, group program that's launching and right now, relatives, all of our programs are virtual and they happen via Zoom. So think of it as in um, like a support group. One of the groups that we have coming up I'm not quite sure when, but you can always check our Facebook page or if John, John, if you know, right in our comment section, um, we have a support group called the dance with anger. It is like a book club. So that's the name of the book. It's called the dance with anger. And I have not read the book. Um, it looks very interesting. I've seen it at the Institute. Um, it is led by one of our counselors. Um, licensed therapist, medicine woman, Reiki practitioner, and also a native woman, Diane Little. Um, she's actually facilitating that one. So if you're interested, if, um, if, if um, you know, part of your reflection and your healing and your resilience has to do with anger that you are experiencing within yourselves or um, anger that maybe you've been exposed to in relationships um, or growing up, this would be a book club that you may be interested in. Again, it's called A Dance with Anger. And you would just call the Her Wellness Institute um, main line, or you would reach out to Jamie Kellycutt. And John can post Jamie's um, email. She's our um, program director, um, engagement director, where she can get you into the right program. We also have our DOT programs, which um, I always say DOT is kind of like um, Girl Scouts for Native Girls. It is a powerful program. Um, it's facilitated by Leah Denny, who is our founder and CEO. Um, but then also Jamie Kellicutt, Barbara Blackdeer McKenzie, and myself are a part of that. It is a outstanding, outstanding group um, that really does help um, girls um, grow into the next generation of healers, the next generation of advocates, the next generation of um, caretakers for the land and for our water. So again, relatives, if you're interested in this stuff, I know I'm just like going through a Rolodex of our programs. I don't typically do that, but the reason I wanted to share is because these programs are coming up right around the corner. Some of them are next, they're coming in the next few weeks. Um, and so it's just good to have a heads up on that. And you can always um, call our main line if you have questions, or you can um, also email our um, our director, uh, Jamie Kellycutt. So um, John will put all that information for you right here in our comment section. You can see Jamie's email there. Just know relatives that community activated medicine, when the people are the medicine, you're the medicine, I'm the medicine, we're all healing each other, we're healing ourselves. Um, that does involve a lot of things like wellness that is awesome, like social connection, you know, virtual programs, book clubs, these things are really powerful. And in our book clubs, I've seen it that sometimes we're reading these books and we always pick beautiful books. Oh man, I love all the books that we've read together so far, but they really do help to facilitate healing through reflection. Um, through discussing these books, sometimes things will come out and things will arise in, in the writings that um, really, when you process it and you talk about how you're feeling about it and your reaction to the book, sometimes it does help to release, like something will come out, you know, that you've been holding inside and you can help to release that. So anyways, I could go on and on, but um, this is just a reminder that our programs are free, community activated medicine when the people are the medicine can be very powerful and it can be very pleasant. It can be a social situation and you can do it from the safety of your own home right now. 
<clears throat> Terrell says, good morning, Malia, John, and everyone. Going to be drinking some teas and lots of water today. I've been tired lately. I think my body is fighting a little cold. Good morning, Terrell. That sounds like a plan. Also, too, Terrell, I know you know this, but in case, just a little reminder, get yourself some citrus or vitamin C in there, too. So um, whether you're eating, um, getting it through some lemon water or eating some fruits today, Terrell, just that little extra um, <clears throat> immunity support <clears throat> for you will be great if you're feeling like you're, if you're like sort of teetering on the edge of something. <clears throat> Claudia also mentioned we have our Children's Fire Book Club and Sensory Fitness for School Age and Elder Editions. Yes, thank you, Claudia. Yes, we do have our Children's Fire Book Club as well. See, there's so many programs all the time that we're running. This is just one of many amazing programs. And at that, I'll actually tell you about one more thing that the Her Wellness Institute is doing for you relatives from the safety of your own home. We are so proud to announce our Frozen Film Festival. And this was curated by um, one of our community healers and advocacy directors. She's also a Ho-Chunk woman, um, Barbara Black Deer McKenzie. And it actually st starts next week, Thursday. So for the entire month of February, we're talking from um, Thursday, February 4th, then week two is Thursday, February 11th. Week three is Thursday, February 18th. And week four, the last week, is Thursday, February 25th. We are doing a beautiful series of independent films written by Indigenous people. Um, I'll tell you a little bit more about it. And I'm also going to post... Um, John, actually, if you can post the link for the Frozen Film tickets as well. I know relatives are getting a lot of stuff, but... Um, our Frozen Film Festival is every Thursday, and tickets are limited to the first hundred registered people. Again, everything we offer is completely free. But in order to get the information, you de do need to go to Eventbrite to get your tickets. It is a limited um, seating of seated event, so only a hundred tickets. Um, the first film on November, oops, February fourth, is called Gather. Um, and we have our guest speaker, Rhonda Funmaker. So after the film, then we also have a guest speaker, which is quite amazing. Um, all these films start at 6 p.m. on the Thursdays in February. Um, then, then the following week on February 11th is called Blood Memory, and that's with special guest speaker Sandy Whitehawk and Priscilla Day. Um, you can find information about these films and the guest speakers right on our Her Wellness Institute Facebook page. The third week, February 18th at 6 p.m., is Dodging Bullets. Um, by the way, these uh, it looks like these films have received a lot of awards, so um, they look great. They truly do. Um, Dodging Bullets, um, that is with Kathy Bure and Bob Trench as our guest speakers, and it does, it. wow, it looks really good. I'm looking at the covers. And then on February 25th, seed pollinate and bloom with special guest feature um speaker katrina brooks flores now she's actually the filmmaker and the creator so some of these films the guest speakers are actually the filmmakers which is very incredible i'm so excited karen buenos dias so glad that you're here all right relatives i gotta slow it down I'm excited today. I have energy, so I'm speaking a little bit faster than I should. But I do get really excited talking about our programs that can help you on your journey of wellness and self-care. Um, please, relatives, do take advantage of that. Cost-free. From the comfort of your own home. Get into these programs. They can be really, really instrumental for your healing. I know they've been instrumental for my healing. Um, I have the privilege to facilitate a handful of these groups. So if you want to join on in, it's not too late. I 
every week we go through a different deep breathing exercise. I try to teach one so that you can put another one in your medicine kit for when you need to tap into a, a tool. The exercise I've been teaching this week is called pursed lip breathing. Now a pursed lip is kind of like if you're going to drink from a, a straw or blow out some candles. You're literally pursing the lip where there's a small gap between your upper and lower lip. With pursed lip breathing, one of the really great benefits of it is that it's good for your lungs. Um, being that, of course, we're in COVID times and we're also in times where there tend to be viruses going around in the winter, a lot of lung stuff. Um, this is an excellent breathing exercise to use. Now with pursed lip breathing, we're going to breathe in for the count of four and we're going to breathe out for the count of eight. We're going to breathe in through the nose, exhale through pursed lips. Now you can sit, lay, or recline however you like. I'm at my dining table. I have my hands gently in my lap. Closing your eyes is optional. And we're going to breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe in and out. We'll continue to breathe. Our heart rate is slowing. We're becoming more centered. Our mind and thoughts are slowing. Rolling the shoulders. Let's take a deep inhale as we stretch the arms out. <sighs> Yawn if you need to. Bringing one arm across, stretching the shoulder and upper back, rolling out the rest. Deep inhale. And relatives, these are just guidelines. Stretch how you need to. If you need to stand up and touch your toes, whatever you need. We're going to go ahead, bring one arm out in front, straightening that arm, pushing down gently on the fingertips of the opposite hand. This is for the wrist and forearm. If you don't like that, you can roll your wrists or as always, Pick a stretch that you need. Listen to your body. Trust it. Palms out and up towards the ceiling. Gently bending from side to center. You might feel a little release or hear a little snap or crackle. It's okay as long as it feels all right. Stretching the tricep. Alright, let's go ahead. Ooh, excuse me. Yawns come out during the stretches, let it happen. And double tapping the ear gently towards the shoulder on each side. And let's roll the chin from shoulder to shoulder, keeping it in the front. We're going to look down gently towards our lap. And up towards the ceiling, stretching the neck. How'd that feel, relatives? Deep breathing is one of the many things you can put in your toolkit for whenever you're feeling imbalanced, maybe you're feeling anxious or stressed or nervous, upset, angry, sad, whatever it is. If you need to calm, you need to center, that's what deep breathing is for. It's an extremely powerful tool. You don't need any money, you don't need any tools or materials with you. All you need is just to tap into that breath. Okay, relatives, I do want to share the lunar phase that we're in according to my ancestral teachings. And the reason that I share this is because when we connect to our environment and we connect to our culture, culture is medicine. It's another powerful healing tool. 
and for those of our relatives who grew up immersed in our culture. I know that you understand already the power that culture has to heal. Culture is in the foods we eat, the way that we connect to spirit, in our dances, in our ceremonies, in our artwork and crafts, our traditions. And for those of our relatives who did not have the opportunity to grow up immersed in your culture, I want to remind you that it's never too late. I work with relatives sometimes in their 70s who because of their trauma and their history were, didn't, were not afforded the opportunity to grow up immersed in their culture. In fact, for many of our relatives, our elder generations, their culture was something that was looked upon for shame. And so sometimes they're 70, 75 years old before they are able to begin to connect to culture as medicine. And it's powerful. It's never too late, relatives. And know that the resources are out there. Even if it's just as simple as Googling or talking to some of your elder family members. Reading a book. And one day we'll be able to return back to our powwows, our ceremonies, our gatherings. So this is why I share the lunar phase with you every time that we meet. It's an example of culture as medicine. In my ancestral teachings, we call the native Hawaiian lunar calendar Kiala Okomahina, or the path of the moon. And as a traditional um, Hawaiian lunar calendar is, we have a different moon for every day of the month. 30 day month. And the moon that we're in today, we're actually in a full moon phase. We're going to peak out with the fullest moon starting tomorrow and for the next three days. But today is day one of the four fullest moons. We're in the moon that we call Akua. And Akua has meanings like, um, Akua can mean like gods or goddesses. Akua can mean the creator. Akua can mean the spiritually divine. And as we are in this moon phase today, and we hit the fullest moons tomorrow in the next three days into the weekend, you may have noticed relatives, if you have been on your wellness journey, let's say you did um, like, um, what do you call those, a New Year's resolution? Um, let's say you started at the beginning of the month. Right now, you may be getting to the point where you're really seeing those some results or some things flourish. Maybe, for example, it's been an exercise routine and you've been going at it strong for the last three, four weeks or so. You might actually be starting to be like, yeah, I'm feeling it. I'm seeing it. My energy feels better. I'm feeling a little stronger. I'm feeling hopeful. My mood is better. You might start seeing some of this energy happening in the next few days. Or relatives, if let's say um, the moon energy right now is good for um, if you've been sort of planning on something and waiting for the time right to like um, maybe something that you want, a goal or uh, something you want to manifest or um, a project, um, this energy might serve you right now to either continue that course um, to get it or to just start there to go out there and get some things done. That full moon energy can be strong. So if you have that extra energy, allow yourself to use it. Put it towards your good if you care to. And what I mean by good is whatever serves you. Whatever serves your highest needs, your values, your spirit. It's a good time for this aqua moon. Good morning, Marilyn. How you doing? And with that, I want to do my favorite ancestral chant before we go. I want to call upon our ancestors, for your ancestors' relatives. I want to do it in my Hawaiian way. As a native Hawaiian woman, I was brought up with the belief of our Aumakua. And Aumakua, 
are our ancestral guardians. As a Native Hawaiian woman, I believe that in order to connect to our ancestors for guidance, for help, for support, all we have to do is call upon them. They might not be here physically with us, but they are here. And so right now I'll call on our ancestors for us all. And I'll do it in this way of chant. This chant is called, when we say chant in Hawaiian, it's it's like um, oli. Oli is the way to say chant. Um, you can consider it like a prayer song. But this particular type of chant that I'm going to do, I've been doing it a lot this past month, month or so, because I've been feeling it helpful to me, and I feel connected, and I hope it feels helps you feel connected. Um, so again, our Aumakua are our guardian ancestors. They're our ancestral guardians. And that includes our kupuna, or our relatives who have passed before us. So maybe if you have, if your parents are gone, or your grandparents, or if maybe a relative, a sibling, or maybe even um, a child or a grandchild, we believe that they become our kupuna, our, our ancestors. And when they cross to the other side, when we call on them, they are there for us. We simply just have to ask. So I'll tell you what I'm going to chant for you. I'm going to say guardians from the rising to the setting of the sun and from the zenith to the horizon. Your guardians behind you, your guardians in front of you, and your guardians beside you in the heavens. As a whisper in the heavens or a rustling in the sky, a reverberating above rapidly moving in the sky, here are the descendants of you, relatives, of all nations, of Turtle Island, of the United States, and of Mother Earth. Take care of us all, ancestors, and in that let the heavens grow, and the earth shall grow, and Mother Earth shall grow. Turtle Island shall grow, the United States shall grow, and all lands. And I'll ask on our behalf, our ancestors give us the knowledge, and the strength, and the intelligence, and the right understanding, and the second insight or tuition, and to give us spiritual power. This is my gift to you relatives as culture of, as medicine. Na amoko mai kalahiki a kala kau. Mai ka hookui a ka halavai. Na amoko yakahina kua, yakahina alo, yaka a kau ikalani. O kiha ikalani, o ve ikalani, nunulu ikalani ka holo ikalani. E a ka pula pula a o ko, o relatives of all nations. Relatives of Turtle Island. Relatives of Mother Earth. E malama o kuya mako. E ulu i kalani. E ulu i kahonua. E ulu i kapai aina o Turtle Island. O Mother Earth. O United States. E humai kaike. E humai kaikaika. E humai ki akamai. E humai kamopo po puno. E humai kaike papa lua. E homai ka mana. That was my gift to you, culture as medicine relatives. Remember, that chant was for you. Be afraid not to ask for what you need from your relatives. Support, guidance, talk to the creator, connect to spirit. Pay attention to what the world around you is saying. Be open. And before we go, I want to take a moment to speak to our relatives out there who aren't doing okay today. I will always be here to remind you. If you're not doing okay, it's okay not to be okay. It's okay not to be okay. 
feel it if you're feeling it you don't need to deny it you don't you you can just be with it take a moment and recognize that's where you're at because that authenticity about where you feel and where you're at that can help you take the next step in your wellness and if you're not doing okay relatives please reach out to someone that you trust that you can talk to maybe it's a family member maybe it's a friend or a co-worker maybe it's a physician a counselor a doctor a therapist and you can also reach out to our cares warm line it's open every Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. and you can call or text and within 24 hours you'll be connected to one of our cares counselors they can hold space for you listen to you and provide you with emotional support judgment free stigma free and with the dignity that all of our relatives deserve and not only can they provide you with emotional support but they can also provide you with resources that may be helpful to you just know relatives you are not alone Look into those programs. Check out the Frozen Film Festival. All free. Everything's free. It's all for you. It is just for you, relatives. I want to say mahalo nui loa. Thank you so much for joining us this morning as we practice community-activated medicine. We are all the healers. And that means you have within your own heart, your own mind, your own body, and your own spirit, the ability to do your own part of your healing. You don't have to do it alone. That's community activated medicine. Ma lama ponoi kokino. Take good, righteous care of your body, your mind, your heart, and your spirit. Aloha nui. Much love to you all. Before we go, there is a community survey linked to this video. It's completely anonymous. It asks just a few questions, and it's how we're able to keep all these incredible services completely free. So please, relatives, take the survey. Take it. That's how we keep everything free, and it's also how we understand best how to serve you. And that's what we're passionate about. We're walking alongside you on this path and journey of self-care, wellness, and mental health. Aloha, Judy. I see you. Karen says, thank you, Malia, for helping us connect with our ancestors. Have a wonderful day, relatives. You're welcome, Judy. You're welcome, Karen. To all of you out there, thank you for making this a powerful circle of care. Ahui ho akuno, everyone. We'll see you later. And aloha.